Hey, pretty people of the internet. Welcome to Your my journey so far tea. of my first surgery and me getting boobies. A very fun time. I took you along for everything oh from pre-op right before and after surgery and Ooh. all of the shit that happened along the way. Hope you enjoy. Hi, hello. So I announced that I was going to get a breast augmentation boob job in September. It's finally happening, obviously hasn't happened yet so i wanted to kind of take you along on this journey with me from beginning to end um yeah getting silicone in my chest i guess uh i've always just liked boobs <laughs> just like the way that they look i don't know i was like wow boobs Cool. Literally when my mom got me the American Girl Doll Puberty book, I was like, I'm so excited to go through all the stages, puberty rolls around, nothing happens. I haven't even gone past stage two. I don't even know if I got to stage two, but I was like, oh my God, I'm not going through puberty. Like I'm just a late bloomer. Just completely disregarding the fact that I have like pubes. I forced my mom to get me like any sort of bra. I think I just, I started with training bras, but I remember I made her get me the padded ones. So it looked like there was a little bit of volume, like a little bit of a bump. Starting high school and still now, I wear a bra solely for it to look like there's a bump. Like this is fake. Like this is all padding right here, but I just use that just to make it seem like there's any dimension. So this is the part of the video where I show you what my chest looks like right now. So... Uh, here you go. So I'm not an A cup, not even a double A cup. I don't even think I'm a triple A cup. I don't even know if that exists, but if it does, I don't think I fit that. My chest also sounds hollow when you, uh, when you, when you tap on it. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm working with right now. I've been wanting this procedure since I was 15 or 16 years old. And I was like, okay, I'm going to wait till like I'm 18, obviously, just to see if anything happens, maybe I'm just a late bloomer. And I know my body is not technically fully grown until I'm like 22. I got two more years to go, but ma'am, I don't think my boobs are gonna grow that much if they do. I asked my mom for a boob job for my high school graduation gift. She said no. I don't even know why I thought she would say yes. <laughs> uh, but now I'm 20, I got my own big girl money. So um, I'm gonna do it. So I have been researching this for five, four years now. I know basically everything that happens, literally every single boob job video on YouTube, I've probably watched it. I know the risks, I know breast implant illness, which I know is a like a really big thing that's been happening and that a lot of you guys have told me about. And honestly, I will admit when I first wanted to get this surgery, it was not for the right reasons when I was like 15 or 16. It was solely because I wanted people to think I was pretty, that I was hot and sexy. It was just for the validation and acceptance from other people. Whenever I would like start talking to a guy and they were like interested in taking it to the next step, I would literally be like, I'm so sorry, you're gonna be so disappointed. Um, I don't have boobs. I would apologize for my body. I told so many people in my high school and like, my years in college so far that i'm gonna get a boob job and it's like literally insane how it's actually happening when i posted about it on my instagram story i got so many dms being like i'm so excited that you're actually doing it i know you've been wanting it for years and i'm like wow i really told that many people i want tits i don't think i owe anyone a reason of why i want to do this it's my body my money my choice i i just like really don't think i owe people an explanation but as an influencer i share my life so you just deserve to know my thought process i really try to make my youtube channel really personal and raw uh, so i know a lot of people are not going to like this information very valid you have your own opinions but if you're watching this video, I'm already a couple of weeks, probably a month post-op, so the deed's been done. I got a lot of comments and DMs uh, when I announced that I was going to do it, and I still get them like kind of occasionally now that they're just like really disappointed in me 
for doing this, uh, especially since I've made body confidence video talks and that I'm just being a bad example. I think just because I'm not crippling, like hating myself or crying <laughs> every time I look at myself in the mirror, um, doesn't mean I can do something that I know will make me happy. Fuck. <laughs> my eyeliner i made those videos because i wanted to share my like journey and i wanted to just be like someone that you could relate to i guess because i know everyone has their insecurities and i just wanted to make you feel better not alone i am so happy that i could be someone that you could look up to but i think it's just unfair to guilt trip me okay so in the least rude way possible i don't really know how else to phrase this but I am not responsible to fix your insecurities. I, I just not, I, don't, I really just don't want that to sound like so snotty and like whatever. Uh, but I, I need to do things for myself. And I'm not gonna end up with a double D's like that. It's just not gonna happen. So it's not like my boobs are gonna be huge. Once I have this surgery, I'm still probably gonna have like small boobs. It's just gonna be more a little bit more than what i have right now just at the very least um i hope that you could be happy for my happiness um that's all i could really ask for uh i know not a lot of people again are happy with it um but fuck it it's happened if you have the same chest as me i'm not saying that you need to go and get fake boobies to be sexy and beautiful and hot I'm just saying that I'm doing it because I have the resources and I've been wanting to do this for a fucking long time. It's actually really funny because um, when I made the down payment and actually made the appointment for the surgery, I told my mom and she was like, oh my god, um, I had my boobs done too. And I was like, what? Uh, and then I found out my mom and all four of my aunts have had breast augmentation, so... I guess the family runs deep with insecurities. I love you guys. Uh, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting ready for my pre-op appointment. I'm going to Dr. Kalashadi and he is located in Newport Beach, California. Elder rich white people. I have had a consult with him in April, but it was through Zoom because pandemic, pandemic things. things. And I just like kind of wanted to get a feel for his character and everything like that. Really liked it. So I'm going to meet him for the first time today. Um, I've been to three other consultations um, from the span of like January to April, but I didn't like any of them. And it was so weird because I didn't get to meet any of the surgeons at the other places. I only met their assistants. And it was so like, I'm getting sized today and I just trust him to just know what CCs to put me in and like, we can just collaborate with that. But at the other consultations, they're like, what do you want? okay cool like when do you want the surgery like what's the appointment like one of them tried to get me to do it like in three days i was like all right let's go an hour and a half later we're back from the consultation i got a goodie bag full of so many fun stuff they really answered my questions perfectly um it was just fun overall i'm just so excited i have so much trust he i trust him with my life i mean obviously he could kill me if he wanted to <laughs> see you in like a week surgery uh in the bathroom right <laughs> now i thought it'd be more like intimate i don't know i could be shitting right now you totally wouldn't know so now i'm showering you know when you were kind of like in deep thought you're like oh my god questioning every single life decision that you've ever made you just like want to cry and like you can because then your tears are masked by like the loudness of the water um yeah so obviously when you're washing your hair you're like 
going like this like lifting your arms like you don't really like think about that movement that much but i won't be able to do that my doctor said i'll be fine after two days to be able to lift my arms up but i also seen some girls say like they literally cannot lift their arms up for two weeks so i'm just preparing for that i'm definitely going to be listening to my body if i can do it i can do it. but if i'm not if i can't i won't so i was just thinking of every other thing that i wouldn't be able to do like tie my hair up in a ponytail or like play with my dog like pretty rough because sometimes he likes to jump he's a he's a silly boy it's just really weird you know to think that like in a few hours my like next month at least two weeks my life is going to change and have all these alterations Arr, it's, it's just like very weird it's also going to be the last time that i'm ever gonna wear this bra i'm just so grateful to have people around me my boyfriend is here he's staying for the week to take care of me my mom my family is obviously going to be taking care of me too i'm just really grateful that they're all supportive and excited for my new titties okay i'll see you tomorrow morning after showering, there were some other things I needed to do the night before surgery, like taking off all of my nail polish and makeup and my jewelry, which oh, was just really ow. sad because I love my jewelry. I also had to put on this anti-nausea patch and of course, cuddle with my over 10 pound ben, dog. So <laughs> like every surgery and just anything life in general, there are risks and you know, I can't just make this video and not talk about the risks because it, this is a big surgery, you know, it's like not just something I can gloss over. Folks with BI I experience it in very unique ways. Symptoms include chest pain, chills, chronic pain, depression, hair loss, headaches, and more. So yes, this shit is gnarly. It's not something to be taken lightly. So I will be, you know, very aware of just how my body is and everything after this. So don't worry about that. In many, but not all cases, surgery to remove the breast implants improves or completely resolves the BII symptoms, which is great. However, it is difficult to know if that's the reason for the perception of improvement. You know, there's always the potential for the subconscious bias to believe that the symptoms have gone better. Correlation doesn't me causation obviously age does some shit to you i'm not trying to disregard any women's experiences bii is 100 real and i am so happy thousands of women were able to feel better after explant you know but i'm just trying to kind of look at this from all angles from what i researched and what my doctor told me uh these are some reasons that bii can kind of emerge some people are predisposed to having an immune reaction to materials that are used to construct breast implants so you you know that your body probably doesn't like having that shit inside so it, it's gonna react in some way or it could just be that some have other undiagnosed conditions such as other autoimmune disease and you start to notice it or becomes more prominent post-surgery some women say that it's because of the capsule that form around the implant and your body will form a capsule with any foreign object that's in your body including things like heart pacemakers thankfully my doctor has never had a patient that has reported having BII and he also offers free removal if necessary. Double thankfully my mom nor any of my aunts have had any symptoms either so hopefully that's the case for me too. Um, it happens usually years and years after you have the implants in. They've had it for at least 20 years. Um, you know things things can show up. Uh, you know you're never immune to something um, but I'm really happy at least for now that everything's okay. Of course this is not all the info I know. I just kind of wanted to condense it but if you're considering a breast augmentation or just like any surgery or any like major major life decision. Please research and educate yourself. Of course, if I start noticing symptoms years from now, know that I will take care of myself and I will get an explant if necessary. I'm not forcing you or anyone to get a boob job in making this video either. I just wanted to share my experience, do things that you're comfortable with and knowledgeable about. Some other risks are potential surgical complications like infection and then there's implant rupture and also this thing called anaplast ana anaplastic? <laughs> anaplastic large cell lymphoma. I don't know if I said that correctly. They're only found in textured implants and they're now recalled, uh, but I just needed to make sure that I was going to get smooth implants. Just, I just wanted to eliminate any risk from that. And with that, on a very good note, let's get on to the morning of surgery. Okay, we dropped her off. I'm hanging out with her mom now. We got McDonald's. They said she'll probably be ready to go by 10, so we have like three hours to kill. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. Hey, babe, how you 
There she is. Hi. You're tired? <laughs> I'm just really cold. Yeah. Tired. You're tired? I had to drink you some of orange <laughs> It's berry juice. Oh, yeah, you're awesome. You're it was so hours? cool falling asleep. Really? Do you remember they anything? told me to think of a happy place, so I thought of Disneyland. Do my bangs look okay? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> she put the hood on me, and I was like, uh. why you put the hood on me? You look better and sound better than how I was. Oh, well, yeah, like you said. Because I'm better. awesome. Ow. Oh. Look who's back home. I'm so high. Yeah? You high? Whoa. Good, guys. She has boobies I'm now. really high on pain meds, so we'll see how it is uh, later. <laughs> my throat's really dry because they put a tube. They put a tube in my in my throat. You want to go so baby? Awesomeness. Good. Epic bra moment. <laughs> okay. I just was cut open. Mm -hmm. I think the anesthesia is wearing off, so I feel a little nauseous. But I got my piece bag. This is what my chest looked like one day after surgery. I was obviously wrapped in bandages and I was just so excited and eager to be able to take them off and see my new body. I was feeling like shit kind of. Um, I was really sleepy all day and I needed a lot of help to get in and out of bed. So I'm so grateful to have had my boyfriend there with me. He actually made me this really cute card, me with titties. It was really funny. <laughs> all I really did that day was play Mario Kart. So it was very fun. I put on makeup today. I felt like shit. I look like shit, but I haven't shit in three days. So uh, we'll see what happens. The doctor said that I would feel constipated for a while. So I'm taking stool softener for it. So I hope I poop soon. <laughs> today is the day that a lot of people said that it was supposed to be hurting a lot. Like you've literally bedridden, like it's just too much. For me, I'm feeling fine. Uh, maybe it's because I'm still pumped up with pain meds. I'm not really sure, but I'll take it. I'm really happy that I'm not in pain right now. It doesn't feel like real boobs, obviously, yet. It's literally just been two days, but they feel squishy. Really high up, as you can see. They will drop down soon, but yay! Boobs! <laughs> It's so cold. What, like Velcro? Yeah. Oh my god. It does look like squares. Oh my god. Ew. Oh my god, my boobs are itchy. You have Roblox boobies. I do. <laughs> oh, I can't feel my nipples. Okay. My nipples are numb. After that very important PSA, I took my very first post-op shower and put on my post-op bra that I definitely overpaid for and got new ones because this one's that very cute. Enjoy this very cute and wholesome video of my boyfriend brushing my hair because I was too scared to raise my arms. I feel like from the meds, my face has gotten a little swollen and my lips kind of turned like purple color. I just had like the slightest pain right here in my right boob, um, but it's like literally for half a second. So that's all the pain I've experienced so far. She's really constipated right now. I still haven't shit. For around one week post-op, I was taking pills around the clock on the dot. So every night we were waking up at 3 a.m. to take what fucking seemed like 20,000 pills. And I had to sit up for 30 minutes after so I wouldn't throw up. Yay. This was not very fun. It was very exhausting, but I guess anything for boobs, right? <laughs> Say hi, Ben. I'm gonna put you guys up here. I think that's better. Okay, so it's been a week. I can't believe it. They look pretty wonky, if I'm going to be honest with you. I knew that this was going to happen, especially since I didn't have like any breast tissue to really start off with. So the silicone implants just kind of like sit a little weird at first. Thankfully, still no pain at all. Uh, I really don't know how that happened. I have been off painkillers, muscle relaxers, antibiotics. I'll get into that later. I kind of like got 
wore off them after like day four so <laughs> you know how i was saying that i couldn't poop right i was like making jokes i was like oh i can't poop i had to take stool softener and milk of magnesia and i was like oh i just need to poop so i finally pooped but that poop girl was not solid i was like oh my god this is so bad because my doctor was like if you have diarrhea like tell me because that's probably not a good thing because you could have this thing called c diff if you don't know c diff is something that can happen from antibiotics and can cause severe damage to the colon and can kill me so i was very nervous that i had it i'm too young to die i needed to show off my boobs at least first so i had to go to the emergency room yesterday it was really sucky i had to i had a poop in a cup and of course of course when i go there my poop is solid and i find out that i don't have c diff i was just severely constipated for three days and all the soul softener and milk of magnesia just kind of went right through me um so yeah i can poop normally now which is great i'm really loving it my recovery was way too easy something had to go wrong I also have this rash from stress, hopefully, uh, from, you know, everything that's happened. Everything under my nipples, like right here, are completely numb. Like, I cannot tell. One week! Ah! It's been officially uh, a little bit over two weeks since I got the operation. They look so big in this top. I feel like at least I've never had like a bump or anything. Today is kind of like a big day that i'm wearing a kind of tight top i'm feeling great literally the biggest pain that i've endured this entire time was the bruise from the iv um so that's that's all i have and the weirdest thing is that i like forget that they're there until they're like in the way of something like i'll like put my arm here i'm like what's blocking it or like i'll like hug someone like gently because obviously i can't hug them like really tight i'll be like what's blocking us like what is this feeling i'll be like oh boobs two weeks in let's yeah cool i got the procedure done during winter break i really just didn't want to think about school so i kept my brain busy by being crafty i decorated this box theater it was so fun it took so much time but i had a blast i was scrapbooking and journaling i dyed my hair which was very fun and had picnics just you know kind of took it easy are y'all seeing this this is my first time wearing a low cut top this is Wow, wow, they're obviously very high up still, but wow, this has never happened before. So I just got out of the shower and one of my tapes fell off. Ah, it's my next shower and I lost the other tape. I'm tapeless. I feel independent. I actually have to wear a supportive bra, not underwire, for three months post-op. Uh, the bras that I have right now were just not, it was it was just not good. It was kind of irritating my incisions and the one that my doctor gave me was just not neutral enough for most of my outfits. So I got these ones, these are my favorite ones and I'm loving them. I am now three weeks post-op. Notice how I'm laying on my side now, how fancy. Start laying on my side two weeks after post-op and I can start laying on my boobs and my stomach after four weeks, which is in a couple of days. My rash is still here. Thankfully, it's not on my neck anymore, but it's around like my side boob and definitely around the incisions. I am so itchy. Aside from being pretty physically different than I was three weeks ago i'm emotionally very different uh, i think i went through like this whole philosophy thing about like self-love and just everything my confidence has skyrocketed it's never been this high before i i don't know i'm just feeling really great and i'm really happy that i'm happy i was getting ready to take a shower like a week ago and you know like when like before you take a shower you uh become naked for the first time i cried because i was just so happy of how my body looked like even though my boobs are still literally up to my neck they're still like really hard i have bruises i have the rash i have very visible stitches and scarring and i've never felt 
more like myself than I did and I still do now. I'm so happy that I came in with the right mindset, just like knowing that, you know, getting this operation is not going to cure my life problems. It's not going to cure all my insecurities, but I know it just makes me happy regardless. And I just can't wait to see how they look once they heal up and drop and fluff. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> been a month since my surgery i'm wearing my invisalign right now so if you hear lisp that's where it's coming from i'm happy to report that my rash is doing great phenomenally um it's pretty much all the way gone i don't feel the urge to itch at all my dermatologist is definitely charging way too much money for this spray but i think it saved my life it's about 50 times more stronger than the cream that i bought for two dollars at target now that it's been a month i can lay on my tummy again i guess on my boob i could also work out so now I actually don't have an excuse when I don't want to work out. Oh, but I'm very excited. I can carry things that are over 10 pounds, which means I can carry my dog, Ben. I have him in a framed photo here. He's my angel. It's literally insane how every single day I can notice my boobs looking more natural and falling down they definitely don't have that crazy like rectangular look. They still don't look like real natural boobs but it has only been a month so i'm not worried about it i'm to my first post-op appointment y'all yeah. hey. <laughs> yeah, everything's perfect i'm so happy about it Actually, one of my boobs, this one, is a little bit higher than the other, so I'm just gonna push it down a little bit more. They were all so nice, they all remembered me. Even though I look like this, I literally woke up five minutes before the appointment from a nap and had to slap on like eyelashes, and they were so very nice to me. Um, it's so awkward though, because he has to like take photos of my boobs with like a DSLR, and then like Martin's just there, and he's just like touching my boobs and taking photos oh, of me. Like, it's really hilarious, it's hilarious. <laughs> A lot of people don't disclose how much they pay for their surgery and hopefully um, I can disclose this information uh, but let's just say surgery was not cheap um, yeah it was it was a lot you know I saved for years for this so I kind of expected it to be this much but let's just say it did not make it any easier when I pulled out my credit card well $9,000 is a very very big number I would say it's kind of like the middle range I've seen some women say that they spent 20k on their tits and I'm like damn Wow. And this is all of my implant information if you wanted to know. Yeah, here, cool. Today marks six weeks post-op. Um, I'm so excited about it. It's been a month and a half. I can't believe it. I have been a smooth girl. Um, it's still a little tan from where the rash was on around my incisions, but it's like not a big deal at all. I do have some chest acne though, which is not very fun. I had like minimal chest acne before the breast augmentation, so I know it's like pretty normal for me, but it was only like one two three pimples uh but now they're kind of scattered all the way from like here to down here just like concentrated around my cleavage area which i never thought it would say cleavage <laughs> I have a cleavage but it's basically just because my skin is very like traumatized right now I mean she kind of started from nothing and then after like an hour she was stretched out all the way to here so my skin's really thin right now sensitive she she's just not having it so she's kind of flaring up a little not a big deal at all acne doesn't really bother me but they have been dropping so fast I cannot believe how nasty and deformed they looked before and I was like wow they looked really nice uh, they're just going to continue dropping and I'm gonna have like a nice like under boob under boob fold situation thing so that'll be kind of fun um, and it'll just hide the scar so many of you guys have been the best I've been getting the sweetest DMs and comments it's been just really encouraging and I'm just so grateful for you everyone in my family were like not mad about it I didn't tell anyone other than my mom that I was going to get it 
it um and then my grandma just like saw me and she's like oh okay i'm glad you didn't go too big <laughs> really nice that i've just been surrounded by positivity i'm very very grateful for that because i know a lot of people aren't and that's just I don't get it. Why won't you let someone do something that they want to do that's not harming others? That's, uh. I think what made this experience really good for me mentally was that I went into it not um, from hatred of myself and wanting the approval of others. At this point, I'm in a really, really loving relationship. My boyfriend loves me and thinks I'm sexy. Even without boobs, and I still wanted boobs even when I was with him. So I knew it wasn't for, you know, that male validation. I was very certain I was going to get it like the second I turn 18 but that didn't happen because I think deep down I knew it wasn't for the right reasons and once it clicked with me about like eight months ago when the thought re-emerged in my brain that I wanted this surgery it was very different it was it was just like I want boobs you know it's not like I want people to think I'm pretty kind of thing it was I think I don't know I just think I went into it with the right mindset and intention and um I think that's really important. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. My boobs and me say goodbye. <laughs>